Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a lot of free tips, tools and tricks that I found over my short period of time on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this video have started their YouTube channel probably during quarantine, either while being unemployed or being strapped for cash or just not wanting to pay in order to increase the production value of your YouTube videos. So I'm sort of in the same boat. I've only been regularly posting for less than a month at this point and I don't see the point of spending a lot of money on filming equipment and editing software and stuff like that in order to improve my videos. I will definitely be looking into that as my channel grows. But for where it is right now, I really wanted to try and look up some free tools and I started doing my research and came across one video and two videos and then before I knew it, I was binging that kind of content and I took down a lot of notes that were really beneficial to me. So I figured if they were beneficial to me, why not share it with a lot of people who are probably also looking to start their own channel or already have started it and just don't know how to crack the code in improving the quality of their videos. So let's jump right in. Before we begin though, I did want to give a disclaimer. I totally recognize the place of privilege that I'm coming from uh, because I'm talking about these things being free, but in order to even access them, I do need to have a computer, um, working electricity, Wi-Fi. I know that there are lots of places in the world that do not have that. So obviously, these tips are not going to be absolutely free in a sense, but I just mean that you don't have to pay out of your pocket. You can probably use the resources that you already have at home. So the very first tool that I wanted to talk about that's absolutely free of cost is Audacity. So in my research, I came across a lot of YouTubers who would talk about how important it is to make sure that the audio of your videos are clear and very crisp, as crisp as possible. And so a lot of them suggest getting a mic. I actually am ordering a mic pretty soon because I noticed that they were pretty reasonably priced. But while I wait to actually pick out the one that I want and for it to arrive and I actually learned how to use a mic, I didn't want my audio quality to suffer too much. So I started using Audacity from actually the second video that I filmed. It is amazing, you guys. It gets rid of so much background noise. There's so much static noise that you can hear. I'm not going to use Audacity for the next two seconds and you can hear what I'm talking about. I'm sure you picked up on that noise that comes when you're not using that software. It's super easy to use. So I'm gonna have these tools open in front of me as I talk in case I'm not making eye contact with you, that's why. So in Audacity, after you go in, all you gotta do is import your audio file in there and after you just go you just go to effect and you go to noise reduction and you first teach it what a noise profile looks like now here make sure you're not getting any of your own voice and even your breaths like the longer breaths that you take before starting a sentence like that one uh, try not to get those in so that it can actually learn accurately what a noise profile should look like after that you just go to step two and go in with the settings that they have usually picked. If you know more, more about audio quality, of course, you can change those settings. I don't, so I just stick to whatever they've recommended. After I'm done with step two, I have a significantly better sounding audio clip for free. And all I do is sync that in with my iMovie. Now here again, I have to note that the videos that I've watched on Final Cut Pro, it's insanely easy. You do have to manually sync them in iMovie, but it's so much better, you guys. Like it's five minutes of work it allows people to focus on what you're talking about as opposed to the disturbances and the distractions in your videos. Oh, I do have an extra tip in iMovie when it comes to editing these clean audio clips now. Make sure once you're syncing your audio and your video, you just first export your file and then start with your rough cuts and your final edits and stuff like that. It doesn't make sense to edit the two separately. It's so much more time consuming. So just make sure you're exporting it in the highest quality possible. Then bring back that whole file and then go in with your rough cuts and stuff like that. Because it's going to take you so much longer and then it's going to be a struggle to add more background music and sound effects when you want it. So the second tool I wanted to talk about is also audio related. This is actually for free copyrighted music. So your number one place to go to for that should be the YouTube music library. And then the second place that you can go to is SoundCloud. And then the third place that you can go to is YouTube itself. And this one I love the most. I just look in things like copyright free, aesthetic music, or 
copyright free ambient music and i come across a lot of artists that are posting their videos and they just tell you give me a music credit that looks like this you can just copy paste it from their description box and then you can use it without it being copyright claimed there is only one issue here though sometimes music picks up many years after it's been made so it's possible that you'll get a copyright claim a few years down the line or something so you want to be aware of that that's why i usually rely on youtube music library but if you don't use soundcloud that's another really good website that you can use for copyright free music i usually like to listen to the music that i want to use while i'm editing my video just to see what will go with it i'm going to list a few youtube channels that allow you to use their music copyright free i've just subscribed to them and whenever they post new music i take a look at it because that way it's fresh music and it's coming from new up and coming producers so why not as your channel is growing you could even help other artists to grow right now from done finding the music clip that i want to use and i make sure to note down the music credits that i want to give in my description box i go into google and just look for a youtube uh, video to mp3 converter so there's one that's ytmp3.cc i don't even know if this is legal you guys but it seems like it's been around for many years i'm hoping it's legal um don't quote me on it but i essentially use one of these converters to just download back um an audio file and it's free of cost you're potentially helping other artists if your video does blow up and um you're not going to get a copyright claim for it which is aces so now that we have some audio stuff covered i wanted to go in with probably my favorite editing tool and it's free of cost and it's google drawing okay you guys i had no clue that google drive had google drawing right hidden there uh you just have to google google drawing and it allows you to type in text and then download it in a png form for those of you who've been making youtube videos you know how crucial it is to get images that have a transparent background and are in png format so that it's super easy to edit in imovie and google drawing does it all without you having to pay a cent for it all you need is your google drive storage i know that there are websites like canva and pickmonkey from what i know pickmonkey seems to be paid for the most part and canva also has uh, some really good free features but again they're quite limited so if you want to save some money at least for the time being I highly recommend using Google Drawing. By the way, if you're seeing any value in this video so far, please be sure to hit that like button and comment down below if you have any suggestions or if you have any specific questions on what you would like for me to post next time. So now that we're done with talking about Google Drawing, something along the same lines of images on your YouTube videos comes the thumbnail. Now thumbnail I know for those of you who found my video you guys have probably already watched a few videos talking about how important a good thumbnail is. Now for a good thumbnail I go in with Canva. So I've tried a few different tools and the best one that I could find was definitely Canva. It comes with the right resolution so you don't have to think too much and the background colors are just so soft and perfect for the look that I'm going for for my YouTube channel. Of course, you guys can go through and find other sort of darker color palettes that you like but i like the soft muted tones for my youtube channel and i really like what canva has to offer so to sign up for canva i just needed a regular email account and they don't ask you for any payment up front or anything like that you can buy templates for a few couple dollars here and there i haven't yet done that because i am a cheap skate as we all know but i probably will in the future if i really need to uh it's really easy you can actually either go to create a design if you want to create a fully custom design or just go into one of the templates i know for like my initial videos i was doing my thumbnails in google drawing and i have to say as much as i absolutely love google drawing the resolution on the thumbnails after is not good it looks like it's like 3 pixel quality or something like that so i have to say canva is much better for that a lot of options you can actually use canva to create not just your thumbnail but even your channel banners and i've even created the little watermark that you see on your screen on the bottom right using canva and for that i just went in with specific dimensions and then created it by myself and it's super easy super simple it took me about 5 minutes to do that's really convenient for how free it is that's crazy you guys if you're making um thumbnails on your phone i have to say fonto is a really good app too also to use 
and so is Pixstart. I heard about these from other YouTubers and I did give them a shot. I have to say I hate using my phone for thumbnails, that's why I don't do it. But a lot of people I know prefer using their phones to create their thumbnails because then they can just take a photograph and then edit in the background and upload it. I can totally see the convenience in it also. I do it kind of the old fashioned way I guess with Canva. So another tool that I have to enhance your thumbnail game is to remove your background for free. Yes, you can remove the background in the photograph that you take for free and you can download it as a PNG file. There's a website called remove.bg, just remove your background. You don't have to sign up for nothing, you don't have to pay any fees. It's super quick you guys, you just have to go to their homepage, upload an image and so I could upload this picture and it would take out all the background. I'm gonna try and insert it right here what it looks like when it's all taken out. The last two things that I wanted to talk about were the lighting. So this one is something that I'm still learning a little bit more about but these two things are absolutely free of cost and doesn't require a computer even it just requires a little bit of common sense. So I'm sure for those of you that are photographers or have any interest in that definitely know about the rule of one thirds. I've actually changed my phone screen to look like a 3x3 three three grid box and so in order to be in the correct grid lines I use that as a good reference for me to always remain in the one third. From what I've read about the rule of one thirds it allows the user who's watching you to be more intrigued by what you're saying and it doesn't appear as harsh as when you're occupying all of the space or or the middle of the screen. Then another lighting tip is that if you don't have the money to buy a ring light which right now I kind of do but I don't want to spend on it because I'm a cheapskate. Um, try to use natural lighting as much as possible and make sure to face a window. I did notice in one of my previous videos, I was sitting on the floor of my bedroom in Trisha Paytas style and I had one half of my face essentially super exposed by the sunlight and one half wasn't and I remember starting out that day thinking oh it's such a lovely bright sunny day I'm totally gonna get the perfect lighting for my YouTube video and it didn't nobody actually picked on me about it but then you know when you're editing you notice and you kind of feel like poopy about it later on do a quick sanity check to check if your lighting is making any sense and if you've tried your best to reduce any initial noise while filming itself so finally guys my last tip is to use some sort of keyword exploring tool or some sort of SEO tool and my favorite one to use right now is TubeBuddy. I have used vidIQ and TubeBuddy and I have to say I like TubeBuddy just a slight bit more. You can stick to either or for the free version but from what I've heard and watched I think TubeBuddy's premium version is a lot better. So TubeBuddy and vidIQ and extensions like that on your Chrome are really handy for you to get what type of tags you should be putting on for your video. Make sure that you're using the same tags in your description, in your tags itself and in your title and you're trying to use the same words in your YouTube video also because YouTube does pick up on that kind of stuff when it comes to ranking your video. I will definitely be doing a more detailed video on this because I've learned so much very recently and this information is really fresh to me so I would like to put that out on a video for other people and for myself to refer back to in the future. Uh, whatever keyword exploring tool you use, be sure to go to other YouTubers videos in your own niche and see what type of channel tags and video tags they're using because that will definitely give you that slight edge over everybody else that's also using just a keyword exploring tool. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video if you made it so far. I'm gonna try my best to include as much information as I possibly can in the description box down below which is about videos that I watched that helped me in my own personal research and uh, the tools that I'm using will be also linked down below. Please be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. Bye!